Hi, I'm Tim Barham. I'm the designer for Knott's Berry Farm. I'm the area manager for our wardrobe department, where we build all of the Knott's Berry Farm Halloween Hawk costumes. We build over a thousand costumes for the Halloween Haunt. Um, we start at the beginning of the end of Haunt. We basically will do an inventory of all of our costumes that didn't survive, and then we'll start looking at all of what our new mazes are going to be and what our current mazes will stay. Each monster has four to five pieces plus a prop, so we're dealing with 6,000 costume pieces each and every night. A lot to keep on track. How we come up with our ideas for all these costumes, because over a thousand costumes to design, I work with my staff, an amazing staff, to help me get through all these designs. I divide up each of the mazes and give them a lead, and then we all bring our own ideas to the table. We're inspired by many things. It can be a flower that we'll take and we'll make it twisted and dark, or it can be as dark and we'll try to make it light and fluffy. So we try to go from extreme ends. Well, I'm a stitcher. I make the costumes. I alter the costumes to fit the person, you know, specific people. The best part about this is the people. We make a lot of friends here. And every year is like a family reunion. Some of the things that we look at with our monsters is longevity of the costume. We look at how the monster is going to be actually out there scaring. We look into the option of is it a scare that blends in? Or is it a scare that's going to be out roaming in the street? We have what is known as sliders. And we've found over the years that they really abuse their costumes because of the aggressiveness of their scare. So we've found great fabrics that will work with that. We use a lot of denim, a lot of leather. One of our favorite fabrics to use is Poplin Polyester. It's Visa, it's indestructible, it doesn't lose its color, and it'll last multiple haunts. The costume behind me that you can see is one of our new mazes this year. This year we have six new exciting mazes. You'll have to come out and see them all. But this one's from our Alien Attack. It's one of an, an inspiration that we use from a jellyfish. We took the concept from a jellyfish so it can build from there and then it has all its tentacles. And if you come out and see it, you'll be amazed how it works in the maze. Costumes play such a huge part of Haunt. If not, it's just a bunch of people in the dark scaring from the fog. We use our costumes to just take it to the next level. We like to add layers and texture and depth. And it takes that character from just being a plain monster into an amazing monster. With all of our monsters who have been here for many of years, they have amazing ideas on what they want to do with their costumes. A lot of them we will get involved with us and let them take their spin on each of their characters. We give them some guidelines, give them direction, and let them know what color choices and fabric that we'd like them to use. And yes, we allow them to get involved. It makes them take on their own character and it makes it very personal for them each year. <laughs> One of the best things at Nutsberry Farm is that I get to go out each and every night into the mazes. I work on the costume, I work with the talent, I know their scare spot, and they still get me. The best thing for them at the end of the night is to say, I got you. <laughs>